What is the crack, ladies and gentlemen? It's giveaway. We're here with another episode of World of Warcraft Classic on the Stone Spine server. How you all doing? How's everyone doing? Hope you're all having a fantastic week. So, I've done a bit of farming without you. I am on nights currently at the minute, so it's kind of difficult for me to summon the energy to be able to get up and do any kind of recording during the day and then still go in and do a 12 hour shift. So, I did a bit of farming because I could do it kind of mindlessly off camera. It's brought us up to 62 gold. Not a not an amazing amount. Primarily took place over here in Arathy and just kind of doing the circuit. Uh, and the plan now for the... Ooh. Gotta be careful of this lad now here. But anyway, as I was saying... Okay, no, he's actually logging out. Plan for today is that we're going to kill some Yeti. And also do a bit of mining if possible. But we are here to kill... Oh, I saw something spawn in there. That's a tin vein. I'm not going to break the bollocks for a tin vein, to be honest with you. So yeah, the plan for today is to kill some of these motherfucking Yeti. And uh, see if we can't get Helecular's Rod. Uh, which should drop off one of them. Uh, simultaneously, we're also going to be keeping our eyes out to see if we can't get our hands on some iron. And then maybe some Mithril. Um, if we keep going at the rate we're going, we're absolutely going to have our 100 gold come level 40. Um, and that's including factoring in... Oop. Fuck. I'm going to just hit it. Just to, It'll pop up on this then. What are we at? We're at like 2 something. 2.13. Ah, oh, bruh. We won't piss off this one because he's uh, too high of a level. Like, we can kill him, but we'll probably have to blow cooldowns. And there's a pat that comes down there as well. So what he can do is just jump on down here and then just start skinning these feathers. Oh, wow. You're a dumbass. <laughs> like, wow. Wow. How, how did you think that was going to end any other way? Um, yeah. Just alliance things. So, alright, we managed to get the cheap shot off just by spamming it just as we ran into him there. So obviously there's a bit of input delay from his auto attack and me coming out of stealth. Awesome. Use it to our advantage. Um, yeah, no, I, I reckon we should have the gold for our mount. Like, I always kind of like, I, I become very kind of focused on making sure that I have enough gold for the mount. That's kind of like one of my primary kind of um, goals and in the initial aspects of leveling is to ensure that immediately I'm able to purchase the mount and get on with it. Um, will we be exalted? That is another question. Um, I just don't see that happening. Especially if I'm here and I'm only getting a small portion of Orgrimmar rep like i i need to be doing quests for orcs to get orgrimmar rep and we're not going to be doing that in the undead zone um maybe an arathy to an extent but i think we do need to move on down to thousand needles and that could even end up being just primarily thunder bluff which again is not what we're looking for now there is another node that has spawned and I would actually be tempted to completely... Oh, you're right. So we gotta pop that immediately. This lad might take one off me here. He doesn't seem to feel like it. Oh, he might have thought about it there for a second. We're okay here now. Okay, we got a mage who's out there spawning in here. But there's another mage who's checking him out. He's a high level mage, actually. This, this could be bad news bears for me. We just need to be ready to, if we, if you see him kind of beginning to channel anything, we need to just immediately get out of dodge. He's just getting himself kitted up there now, so let's just skin these. Take a second to quickly check the perimeter. And then we're going to make our way up here and we're going to get this iron deposit is what we're going to do. This lad is skinning. That's fine. Okay. 
That iron deposit is still there, still juicy, still good to go. Free money. The iron is worth more than the skins. We'll get that on the go. No skill point or... Uh, yeah, skill level. No skill increase, unfortunately. So, um, what can you do? We'll be dinging off the next mob that we kill now as well. That'll bring us up into level 30. New moves. Kidney shot, I believe, is going to be on the cards. Outstanding. I like just moving the iron down here. The ore, as I'm uh, mining it. Going with the stealth to see if he does any fucking shenanigans here. Doesn't seem to be. Okay, that's good. Make a way up here. There is one that can be skinned. And I might get one here in the corner or something. No. Well, that's fine. We'll just keep skinning these as we steam on around. So I don't know if I'll be able to record a full episode today. It is likely that I'm only going to do a little snippet of the episode today. And then I might do a little bit more of it than the following day. Um, I've joined uh, the gym in work. In the actual building. Um, we have a fully kitted out gym um, for a very um, small membership fee like it's actually outstanding I, the only thing that was delaying me in using it up until now was that I had to do like an orientation thing and due to the nature of shift work it was difficult to kind of land on the same time as the dude that had to do the orientation thing with me but now that I'm orientated on it I, I'm covered by the insurance and I'm, uh, I'm allowed to use it so like it's got like a fucking powerlifting cage it's got a squatting bench powerlifting or a, a bench it's got one of those multi things where there's like five four different uh uses for it in terms of like you can do lap pulls the cables are on it, all that sort of shit it's a decent gym's uh Rack of dumbbells that go up to 30 kilos, uh, kettlebells, um, there's a cross trainer and a treadmill. Um, I wouldn't be doing too much cross training now, mind you, but uh, I think they're actually talking about getting rid of the cross trainer and replacing it with a rowing machine. But, like, it's a footy, it has Olympic weights and shit, it has the Olympic bars. There's a mirror there so you can posture check and all that sort of shit. There's a fucking nice stereo system so you can blast your fucking music. And realistically, like, the gym can comfortably accommodate three people kind of doing a workout, which is fucking badass. You know, ding. He, what is happening here? Ding. And we get Blade Flurry. Which we want to get on the go. We'll put it there for now. I'm just watching what's happening here. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just waiting for him to act the fucking cunt and I was gonna kill him. <laughs> or try to anyway. I'll give it I'll give it the the hard try. Now, he's on boss tier for me, so like he can just one shot me. Um, just with a fire blast, I'd say I'd probably knock off fifty percent of my health, and then uh, the cone of coal to do the rest of it. Mm. Don't want to be getting dicked by that. I don't know how many of these we're gonna have to kill. I don't know what the drop rate is like. But I have heard people giving out about it in the chat previously, so. Then again, like, Humbert's Sword is meant to have a really low drop rate, and then I got it on my alt, and I got it on the second mob we killed, so... Look at a draw. We might just get it off that one. Wouldn't that be hilarious? Uh, we'll use up our last Big Bear steak and just get that out of the inventory here now. Questing here is gonna... Oh, I got a chest at some point uh, while I was mining as well. I ended up getting a couple of nice potions. Oh, there's another nose after spawning. What is it? It's an iron deposit. And I think it's actually in the this room over here which suits me and it's nice now that we're a little bit higher on a level we're able to kind of get closer to them without potentially aggering them which is fucking savage thing is, is we're level 30 and we have a dagger for what level 24 and this well they're not they're not bad weapons but they're not fucking great either like this we could have better kit on us here now um spectral necklace of the bear i don't think i actually have anything and that would be strength and stamina 
Uh, I'll equip that. I have nothing there, and it's just going to be more stats for me, and we can vendor it later on. I would have otherwise just sent it onto an alt for this enchantment. Whoop. Push steam on in here. See, the thing is, is, we don't have to be so picky about which mobs we fight now. Sorry about you, brother. Damn. Thing is, is he'll just steam on and he'll start clearing them out from the room, and that's absolutely fine. That's that's what we want to achieve. But what we want to do is it in such a way that we've staggered the spawn so that way I can get to the the node, and he doesn't. So you see, he's pulled like an absolute shed load ton of shit there. Wow, outstanding, brother. You you do you. We'll go over. We'll kill this fucker, which means it's likely that he'll go for this one. Which shoots me down to the ground. Get in behind them. Stop being lazy, you want fucking hell. You wanna get behind them, because then they can't fucking parry you. You know what I mean? Or they just parry you. They can't parry you if they if you get in behind them. Um it just means you get an increase in damage to yes. Either way, you said they're not gonna parry there. If we were behind them, impossible. Doesn't work. I think that's what it is. I am absolutely out of the correction on that. But uh it means a damage increase, no matter what, because one of your attacks that could potentially be blocked is not being blocked. Give me my rod. Jesus fucking Christ. I assume one of them drops it, because it does say it will be on one of the creatures specifically. Um, rather than it'll be somewhere where you can just kind of pick it up. Now, we could sap it. That could work. But he's going to take it, and then I get my iron node, which actually shoots me down to the ground. Uh, we're all about that money-making life. And if we can do it effectively like this while still questing simultaneously, that's a fucking win-win. And with that in mind, this could be a good spot to grind. Just kill mobs, they're humanoids, you get a few bits and bobs off them, so they're likely to drop cloth, they're likely to drop weapons, greys that you can vendor, all that kind of carry on. Um, and you can skin them as well, so there's actually a, it's a decent area to be grinding if you're just looking to grind out levels by killing mobs. Like this, this is absolutely an effective spot to be because you're gonna get all these nodes spawning as well. I'm a bit salty. We can't get that true silver. Um, the prices going on the nodes is increasing as well dramatically as we we're after getting up into mithril and the the amount of mola that we're getting is going up quite fast which is great because we do want to be making those dollar bills and i i still think that mining is definitely one of the better professions you can have as a rogue simply for the fact that you can go stealth and just ignore all the mobs that everyone else has to battle their way through to get to those nodes there's also nodes in areas where there's a load of elite mobs where as anything that isn't stealthable it is extremely difficult in order to be able to gain access to And as a rogue, you can just snake past 90% of the fucking mobs, sap one, and then take a node. <laughs> um, I, I think that just doesn't... like Maybe as a druid, you can kind of compare to it because you've got cat. But I, don't know, I think there's just no comparison just for the, uh, the utility of the rogue and being able to get into these areas and thus be able to generate uh, income at a much better rate than any other class. Mages have AoE farming, which is always going to be something that's going to be difficult to compete with because they can take a bunch of mobs and just fucking mill them. The nice thing now is that if we pull two mobs, I pop Blade Flurry, and then, you know, we're laughing. It's, uh, this is a massive game changer in terms of our uh, ability to generate DPS. I'm kiting this one back because that's still going to be tough <laughs> on the body. We'll go stealthy here now. Use up a little bit of energy just to do that. And get slice and dice on the go again. Okay, excellent. Just want to be conscious of our surroundings, just in case we see any mob, any alliance players in here farming around like that. I think they actually need to farm, yet he hides the quest as the alliance. So, it's engineered by Blizzard. And you have to admire it. it, it's kind of basically throws you in together, into the same areas, and it forces you to like, deal with each other, compete with each other for certain spawns and things like that. And 
you have to admire that. Like, it doesn't take a lot of thought to do that, I guess. But uh, it, it's cool, like, because it, it makes the, the questing more interesting. The fact that you're likely to encounter the enemy faction and have to deal with them then. Um, that necklace was a good pickup now. That's an extra few bob in terms of the stamina. Um, the strength is good as well. Like, it is increasing our damage, but just not as much as the agility would. Um, so, like, what we would want there, ideally, is a necklace of the monkey. Uh, so we would get stamina and agility. Uh, that would be the ideal circumstance. I think we get like two attack power for an agility. Uh, we get a percentile of crit chance and a percentile of dodge chance then as well. Whereas off strength you just get a bit of attack power and that's her. Damn. I'll be able to tune my quests. Yeah, we're gonna have to get ourselves attuned to Anixia and everything. This is proving to be a bit grindy, but sure, look, it is what it is. Shit. That's a rogue, I believe. We're just gonna walk backwards here, and we're just gonna kite it out. I know that's protracting the combat, but it just means that we're out of sight. For a second, just while we're doing this, and it means I now have an opportunity to go to Oh, bugger. It's a hunter. So. Well. You do you, friend. So, like, she's got seven levels on me. I can't contest that. <laughs> um, she wants that leather. You do you, ma'am. You do you. You take that shit. Happily. In fact, I, I offer it up. Leave me the fuck alone. Um, but that does mean we need to be careful now. She is in the area here. And we got this lad out here then as well. Just chilling. Gotta be conscious of him. Could be sound. Could be chill, but... Um, Just keep steaming on and steaming on here now for a minute. Yeah, so two nights down, two more nights to go. Um, fuck me, I'm feeling it. <laughs> but I won't have to do nights for a while then, you know what I mean? Like, I, I'd rather get them all grouped together than kind of mixed into the week. Um, absolutely. But, uh, anybody who says they like night work, you're lying! <laughs> you're lying. Nobody likes night work. Maybe if you did it, like, all the time, as opposed to a couple of days here and then a couple of days there, I can see it. You could potentially just switch your clock over completely, but, uh, such as adult life. Oh, to have a normal 9 to 5 job. <laughs> now, I have a new gaming chair, which has arrived, but the delivery dude was a bit lackluster on the phone. Don't recognize the name of the company that he, he said he was with, so I don't think he'd be hooking a brother up and dropping it into the uh, the nair. See, all my mail goes to my parents' house, um, so I don't think he would have. Like our local postman would typically deliver all my mail into my neighbors if not everybody's at work and there's nobody in the house. But this guy was just a bit like, yeah, no, I'll be at the house in ten minutes. Are you not there? You pick up at at depot. I go, okay, bud. <laughs> As I'm half asleep, <laughs> fucking answering the phone going, what the fuck is this mad gun chatting to me about? Think I'm about to get milled. No, okay. He's showing a bit of chill. He is showing a bit of chill. Just keeping an eye on him. That's all we can do here, you know. If he doesn't act the fucker, I won't act the fucker. I'm not in a bad mood yet. He's also a mage, and I just don't think, without kidney shot, I don't think I have any opportunity of being able to fucking kill him. He just shits on me. It's sad that these filthy fucking mana users, like, they just polymorph you. That's the end of that. It's fucking. Oh, thanks. Polymorph for me, bruh. The shit we deal with. Is that a fucking snack? It looks like a snack. A brown snack. What the fucking shit? What the fuck is that about? Was that like a summoned? 
I think it's like a summoned pet, like a like the eye of Kilrog or whatever it is, or the warlock has a thing that can go out and scout. That's class. Hmm. I don't seem to be having any joy here. Or was it just that? Oh, it's just a pet that just bugged out in terms of where it was following him. I think that's far more likely. Dude, this rod ain't dropping. Like, fuck me. I've killed, like, more than 10 of these fuckers now at this stage. Like, hmm. Like, we're getting a bunch of leather. And we've already gotten a couple of iron nodes. We're, we're up to eight here. Like, um, we're making money. Just not getting this quest done. Feels bad, man. We're level 30 now as well, so that should change the... Oh, the swarm grows is still orange. This is still green. I don't know if I'm going to get that BFD quest done. It's not the end of the world if we don't, though, to be fair. Is she going to go stealthy? Because I'm going stealthy. Tag that mob. Hate that. See the way the pet is following her around? Ah, that's what it is. She was stealthed. And the pet is following her around. Like, that gives you away as a rogue. That gives you away. Well, she's probably cleared this spot out. Oh, that mage is in there doing his thing. Itchy nose. Hmm. Oh, actually, wait, I, I should accept, because uh, I assume we should be able to share the loot. Um, it's ever since that rogue quest, I've just been so <laughs> disillusioned with the, the things where you have to share loot. Because, like, that, that fuckery, that was also done intentionally, I'd say, by Blizzard in order to promote bad vibes amongst rogues. Somebody probably thought that'd be fucking hilarious. No honor amongst thieves and all that shit. Hmm. Okay, she's tagged this one. What level is this, dude? 31. Okay. So our next points in terms of talents are going to be going into sword specialization. Uh, because it means that we have a chance to get an extra swing. Oh, man. Bruh! <laughs> Standing here. Is he getting that true silver? Oh, sad times. Man, that's slow just from the cone of gold. Ridiculous. Nah, dude. There's like so many fucking people here questing at the minute. It's a tough going. It's a tough going. Oh, this one's gonna drop it though. Hang on, I'll just I'll open up a ticket here. Dear Blizzardo, I know that you're trying to just squeeze every fucking cent out of me with your fucking subscription times with these bullshit drop rates. But realistically speaking, right, you wanna keep me interested in this game? Give me my fucking item! 20 mobs later. So much fun. Oak and war staff. We're getting there. It's a type of stick. What are we looking? It's a type of rod. It's a bit too rody, but you know, it is what it is. From the Yeti. Undoubtedly one of the beasts have it. Well, I'm fucking doubting it now, to be honest with you. I'm doubting it now. There's a lot of Alliance players in here now at the minute as well. I wouldn't take a whole bunch for them to be pissy. The fucking snake, bro. You fucking twat. It's, <laughs> it's so derpy looking. It's just a snake just chilling. Like It's fucking ridiculous. Here, we get this on the skin. Yeah. Mm. If anything, I'll get to do a few skins. I saw another name played here. That's the, the hunter. Which we just don't want to be around. And then we want like a 36 warrior as well. Like, shit balls. Life's tough as a rogue. Low-level rogue. 
in a high level world. There's been no nodes respawn and now either. Oh, this dude's gonna tag that. Yeah, no, he's. Jesus. The old ambush there taking off fucking 50% of the fucking dude's HP. My god. You see, now if he had any sense, he'd just fucking kill us. Because that gets us all off the fucking mobs then, and it means that he's able to farm them freely. But the thing is, is he can kill us at any time. But it's going to be irritating for him if we're fucking jumping in on his combats. So, I suppose the logic then as well about I'm not attacking us is that, well, they might not attack me when I'm doing my quests. Even though he could undoubtedly fuck us up. I guess if it's just not the hassle. Or maybe he's just a genuinely nice guy. Or chick, who fucking knows. But, uh, and just doesn't want to fuck with us. In which case, I respect you. But I disagree with you. See, he's gonna want this one. And if I go for it, he's just gonna fucking kill me. So, okay, well, I guess that's yours, friend. Hmm. I, I could have used a throwing knife, but, like... Do you want to anger the bear? You know what I mean? You want to fucking... Hey! I'm gonna do this annoying thing and take this off you. Oh, by the way, free chest. Nice one. We get some savage item here now. Watch this. Oh, no! It put me in combat! No! No! We can't loot it while we're in fucking combat! Bruh, bruh, bruh. I could vanish. At worst, comes the worst, I could just vanish. If he goes for it, what I would just do is vanish and then loot it again. And then the mob would likely aggro to him. But, like, that would probably piss him off. Loot this. Healing pots and leather and a grey, I'll take it. Skin this. Hmm. We're getting a bunch of heavy leather and like we'll get a decent price for this. And the thing is, is we're doubling up on the amount that we're getting because there's other people farming here as well. Um So we're getting some basically for free. So that's the nice thing about skinning, when you enter like situations like this, like you're just free money every click. It's kind of hard to tell exactly just when you could stealth at the last second. Like, I guess it's something that you're just going to get used to. You feel it out, what the aggro range kind of is of mobs. I don't know it exactly, but I just have, like, a rough idea in my head. Um, and that's just from playing it for fucking ages. Give me my rod, bruh. Bruh. Is this lad chasing this lad down? What's happening here? Um, okay. Because if he is, like, it's... We'll have to switch it on then, you know what I mean? Like, we have to get a bit of fucking... Get down on it. Mm -mm -mm. You know? That's the exact appropriate song for this situation. He just killed the mobs up there, so I don't think those ones are going to be next up. We just killed these ones here, so... Bruh. Tag this off of him. Nice, okay. Level 31, that's grand. Shouldn't be able to do too much damage to us. Hmm. Okay. I think I'll basically just go today until I get this rod, and then I just, I want to get food and shit ready, and then I want to go try out this fucking gym. Um. Yeah. The only thing is, it's going to be weird going into, like, I, I'm five minutes from my workplace, so it's just going to be weird going into work on my days off to, like, exercise. <laughs> That's going to be unusual. Hmm. There are so many rogues here at the minute. Man, give me my fucking rod, dude. Jesus Christ. And sometimes, when, like, I'm doing these recordings, like, I know part and parcel of it is you guys just, like, listen to me waffle on and fucking ramble, but, um... Like, sometimes when I'm doing this shit and, like, the item isn't dropping and you've killed the same mob, like, fucking 30 times and it's just not happening. Why is that a parrot green? He's, like, alliance, but he's a civilian type thing? That's unusual, I think. 
that's not I don't know what the fuck that's about like he's green there like it's so weird or like white rather like just like he's got the civilian portrait like I'm sure I can kill him as a pet like you know everybody's just being so chill there's like no PvP going down like this is the fuck is this <laughs> this doesn't happen this never happens everyone just starts fucking each other up there's never any good vibes going around oh we've no poisons on bollocks okay I think we actually got the full use of the get that mage coming from Yeti K you what or maybe he was being a dirty fucker there at some point hmm So pop an evasion, is it? Pop an evasion and I would assume blade flurry. Look at that animation. The fucking flip. That was class. You know, still don't have poison zombie, you know, it's whatever. It's fine. It'll be okay. Slice and dice is up. So yeah, we'll have to go get new moves. That's gonna be something else that we'll need to do after this. We might do a wee bandage here now in a minute. In between auto attacks, pop this so that way there's no chance of him interrupting. Get a decent heal up. We have so many wool bandages and we're maxed out. Like we're about to go on into silk, which we have a load of now in the bank as well. Um, so I don't mind using these on a whim. Okay. Fair out stack a heavy letter here. Like, so what I was saying there is like, do you guys want to see me kill the same mob 50 times and nothing happens? <laughs> um, or would you prefer if I exercised a bit of diligence and stopped recording until I got it and did the grindy bit off camera? Because I kind of want to show the whole like leveling process as much as, but simultaneously, like sometimes like some shit is just fucking intensely grindy and like that's not fun gameplay necessarily to watch I don't know I'm up two minds I'm happy enough just to keep chatting here for a minute anyway I'm tempted to google the drop rate on this fucking item though holy shit this is unreal like this is so fucking low like we've, we've killed so many of these we're out of rest XP and everything like it's We've actually gone through a full... Oh, there's a node. Where is it? I think it's over here. Looking at the angle. No, it's in the room here. I think I know where this one... Oh, that's nice, actually. Right, we will scan him. I'm breaking protocol here. We should be prioritizing this node. Should just be in here and on the left-hand side against the wall. If it's the one I think it is. And it's not, so it's actually upstairs, right? So we're just going to tunnel vision and go get the node. Um... Because it's worth so much fucking gold. There's a bit of heavy pay going on. Shut up. That rogue got absolutely shit on. That node is over here somewhere. I don't know who opened up there. Oh, Jesus. They're everywhere here now. Let's just see how chill he is. <laughs> we just fake that weird chill. He's got the aggro, and I've got the mine. Bruh! Why you gotta do me like that? <laughs> Motherfucker. We're good. We're good. And we're out of combat as well, which is also good. We didn't get a we didn't get a skill level, but you know, whatever. And we out, boys. The frostball shouldn't be hitting me. Okay, no, right. I thought it was fucking about to hit me there. She's We're gonna dip. I'm gonna pause this. I'm gonna go do shit that I need to do. There's too many fucking alliance players here now at the minute. Not enough Heward. Oh no! 
Spam three! Spam three! Spam three! He parried! You motherfucker! We gotta pop this immediately. Got her with the fucking- No, I didn't. Pop pot. Immediately heal. Oh no, I thought there was a horde player coming in! Oh, of course! The fucking Resident! Of course! Ah, uh, we got the iron node though. I suppose there's that. Alright, that's the night shifts finished. <laughs> um, I've just dragged myself out of bed. And I now have to begin the process of readjusting my clock to that of a normal human. Um, it may take a day or two, unfortunately. That's just part and parcel of it. In the meantime, we're back here at the Yeti cave. With the intention of doing a wee bit of mining, and with a bit of joy and luck, we might, just might, get this fucking quest done at last. Hmm. We're level 30 now, I'd be comfortable enough going to, um, really? Jesus. I fucking suck at these cheap shots today. Um... I reckon we'd be comfortable enough doing Scarlet Monastery, uh, at least Graveyard anyway. Library might be a bit of a stretch as of yet. Um, shouldn't be an issue. And um, that's going to be some nice gear. I think there is uh, a dagger or two in Graveyard. Uh, the Torturing Poker. It's actually... It's nice offhand, but it's not really that... Nice overall, per se. Oh, I see a mithril node. Oh, I see a gold node. The mithril is worth more. So we just uh, snake on past this uh, dirt bag here. And leg it. I would almost even consider popping fucking sprint. Mm -hmm. What's nice about this is that, by and large, typically the folk here don't. Oh, he just got shreked. But he, the folk here don't tend to have a high enough level for the mithril nodes. So when a mithril node spawns, I am more or less guaranteed it. You know what I'm saying? So, par example, let's get that on the luta. This is just how you do it, folks. You just gotta take every opportunity that presents itself to get get that gold on the go. We'll stick that down here at the back. I just like having it in out of the way. And that's that's how you do it. You just every time you see a note, just fucking nab it. Go out of your way to fucking do it. And you will have one hundred gold by the time you reach level whatever the fuck. And then if you don't, you just spend a day just running around picking the nodes up. <laughs> And you will get there fairly fast. Like, we've got, what, 35 more gold to be able to purchase our mount. But, like, realistically, like, it's, it's got to be a lot more than 35 gold because we have to... Now, there was an alliance player that was just killed here. I believe a rogue was involved. Now, I wasn't that rogue. But the point being is, I'm here. And by being here, I am tired with the same brush. The Lions player was over 30-something. Fuck. It's mine! Huh. Huh. Nerd. Now we got this guy on the loot. Gotta be careful, because I think he's about to summon some shit. I think we're alright. I think we're alright, folks. I think we're alright. Is he skimming? Yeah, he is, but he didn't skin that one. I don't know why. But we're not going to question it. We're not going to question it. This is like the longest quest ever. I could tag it. Just to annoy him. Okay. 
So, uh, I'm not gonna stay on forever here. I'm probably gonna do, like, about 10, maybe 15 minutes. I just, I wanted to do the gold and stuff from whatever stuff I had on the auction house. Um, I'm gonna go out for chicken wings this evening. Have a beer. And just relax after my four night shift. Four day night shift. Week. That was just, that was brutal. Fuck me. There came a point this morning where I was just sitting outside and like the rain started thundering down. <laughs> uh, me and the dude I was on with were just kind of manically laughing at some fucking dumbass video we saw on YouTube. Like fucking some like dude was having like the wax thing, like you know where they wax all the hair in your face just to you know manscape you and look you make you look spectacular. Well, fucking this guy was screaming like such a little fucking bitch. Like it was hilarious. <laughs> it was it was so fucking funny. But it, it wasn't actually that funny at all. It was just that we were that fucking tired that we just perceived it as being fucking hilarious. Wow. Okay. Bro. Oh, wow. Everybody is just getting fucked. Jesus Christ, they're all, they're all dead. Well, ain't that, ain't that something? Turn around. Rip. <laughs> okay, so we have new technology, which I want to show you. I'm gonna just sneak in here. I'm still on this fucking Yeti quest, by the way. New chair! Look at this! Haha! I should probably take this off at some point, but this is the new one. Yeah, isn't that shiny? Look, it's got padding. Padding. Look at the padding. It's so good. It's so much more comfortable than the fucking stool that I was on. Okay, right, let's get this back on my head. Right, so lumbar issues aside <laughs> there's like a thing right in your lower back where your lumbar region is and we've kind of got this like kind of mid thoracic kind of thing going on with this little cushion thing and it just it keeps you upright you can't really like so there's no need for posture checks anymore we're all good this is good no it's it's cozy it's real fucking go hello alliance trying to show a little bit of chill there bro yeah that's right fuck you so you getting targeted He's showing chill. No, he's alright. Could also be that he's at 50% HP. I don't see what level. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, right. I've killed one or two of these dudes without you guys. And I've also mined one or two nodes without you guys. But, um. Still no joy in terms of finishing this quest. We also got a chest, which gave me a couple of. <gasps> We go more of these fuckers, which is awesome. Thanks, friendo. Wouldn't it have been so nice if that dropped it. So like, we're still here, still trying to kill the fucking yeti. Still, still fucking killing yetis. Waiting for the oh, there's a meat drill. We want to get that. That's that's buku money. He might want it too. So we've got to be. Judicious about getting this here now fairly promptly. Yeah, that's just tunnel vision and go straight forward. I was dicking around trying to get nodes and stuff, and there was high level alliance on not so long ago. And my chair, I finally went over and collected it from my fucking parents' house so I can fucking get this shit on the go. Um, yeah, this is so much more comfortable than what I had. I'm so hyped about this. This is. Becoming an adult. This is being an adult, you fuckers. Alright? This is what adulting is. Adulting is getting hyped about a piece of furniture. Alright? That's what fucking... That's what being an adult is. How does that make you feel? Yeah? Oh, wow, this game is coming... Fuck that shit. I got a new chair. And I'm so happy about life right now. And you know what I'm gonna do tomorrow? I'm going to go shop for fucking pots. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy myself pots. Loads of big, huge pots so I can make big ass things of soup and stew. And I want to get a casserole dish, and I'm hyped about that. That's being an adult. 
you are ever wondering what lies ahead, folks, for those of you that may not just yet be there, that's what it is. And it ain't that bad. And it ain't that bad. There's trade-offs. Get aches and pains in your joints, that's okay. Because you get to buy a chair and feel super hyped about it. Thinking about barbecue and, and things of that nature. Isn't it wonderful? I keep telling myself that. Maybe it will be. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Right. Mm. Still having no joy killing these fucking yetis. Like, this is, literally, this entire episode has been me killing yetis. And I'm not against that. This is effortless content. Let's be honest. Like, this is... This is gold. This is, this is why you watch. To see me fucking have a nervous breakdown as I'm fucking killing the same mob. Over and over again, and it just won't give me the thing that I need. We'll have a little bit of food, and we'll just continue working our way back and forth through this room. Oh dear. We'll give him the chill jump, and then we'll just stroll away. Did he fire in a flare, or did he cheer? I think he fired a flare. Oh, buddy! The hunter just fucking sniped him! Oh, shit, but he also pulled aggro from like three of these, so... I think we need... Uh, oh, we got the rod! Yeah, time for some revenge! Go stealthy. Okay, yeah, this is, this is what you get. You sniped the orc. And as such, you're now dead breed. Like, are you still clearly alive is what I'm wondering here. No, you're not. Okay, well. That's for the orc. That's for Golgazoo, you fuck. You shit fucking cunt fucker. You're a cunt fucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dumbass sometimes. Okay, right. Let's make our way up here. You guys, by the way, you fucking... I, again, I have to realize that you're not going to see this for a week, but you've been leaving some awesome comments about some of the like, dumbass shit that I've gotten up to on this so far. Like, the call car quest and stuff. Like, things that I should have, like, just done, but, like, didn't, because reasons. Nailed it. Thanks for the tips. Realize that I am a dumbass and just, you know, bear with it. Alright, I... I am a master of many things as a rouge. But, you know, I have to leave a little bit of room for improvement. Because, like, if you guys think that, like... If you ever see, like, the perfection that it is to be me playing this game, I, like, I just make it seem like you could never achieve that level. Like, you'd all stop playing. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to ruin WoW for you guys. I want to make it seem like there's still hope that one day you might catch up with me on some level or degree. So that way you guys can keep providing me tips. This is a totally legitimate reason and absolutely not bullshit or fuckery. I may be off four nights in a row. Alright? This may be the day I may have only really gotten about maybe five hours sleep because I also went there for pints and chicken wings. So, things might be a little bit blurry here for myself, you know? But we're not going to worry about it. All right, I'm not worried about it. I don't know why you guys are worrying about it. I, I think you should stop talking about it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, then. Fine. Be that way. Yeah, bitch. Right? Okay. Anyway. um, Somebody whispered to me the other day, what I'm noticing with Auctioneer is, you know when you do the fast scan? Sometimes that lags my game out, and I get a message off somebody as my game lagged out. You're a local trash man. Well, fuck you, brother. <laughs> Oh wait, no. Oh, he's saying that about me cleaning up the fucking the things. Oh well. Hmm. Thanks. Somebody's gotta do it. Somebody's gotta do it. But uh, yeah, somebody whispered me uh, while I was in the auction house using the thing. So if you watch these videos and you whispered me and I just didn't reply, I went offline and then came online. I didn't ignore you. I just couldn't remember your name. I couldn't see whatever else you whispered because my game froze. Because auctioneer. So rip. Rip indeed. We're going to head back to Taranville. We're going to hand in this fucker. 
to yes. I do believe this starts a chain. A most chainable chain. Where what is this not happening? No. And once we do this, we're either gonna progress into Arathy or Bruh. Bruh kick. <laughs> Get Shrek nerd. Um kick the shit out of him, literally. Um uh, or we go back to Thousand Needles type thing. Zoom. Yeah, Thousand Needles. So we'll go to there, do that, and then and then and then and then end there. Event. Oh wait, whoa, nailed it. Wow, I wasn't even looking. <laughs> Skills. Okay. Hmm. Take the raw to heavy to heavy. You'll need it. Three samurai mine on pirate part. Fame of Zell, fame of Lion in the Foothill Caverns. Nothing okay, capable of the caverns. Oh, right, so two fires there and then a fire up near the other thing. Into a grave in South Shore. We can do this real quick. We're a rogue. That's how this works. Okay. So, you know, being a rogue, we have the capacity to I thought that was an NPC. Oh, hello, Quest! Boulder Fist Ogres. Ah, so this pushes us up into Alteric Valley, does it? Mm. Tons of quests. What the fuck is happening? We probably have moves here as well. Oh, look at this! Enter the territory, kill Dalaran wizards. For a few months ago, turn them. These thieves broke into a secure vault. The thieves fled the undercity to Dalaran, and those wizards quarantined them in an order and turn them in camp. Find the traitors and kill them. Okay. Now, like, what level are all these quests? Like, I think we're still a little bit on the loose. I like, like, we might actually still be going to Thousand Needles for like a level or two just to get ourselves into a better position. Oh, this is still miles off. The land of the desolus. We can, we can do that. We got a link quest to it. Like, uh, it pushes us in a certain direction. And not necessarily bad. thing. we throw our head in this room as well. You guys keep pointing out all recipes and shit like that that I keep missing. And, you know. Thanks. <laughs> I do appreciate it. It's unfortunate. I need to be more thorough. Like, when I'm fucking checking areas and shit like that. Like, and actually, like, check all of the vendors and stuff. I'm not just, like, be plowing on with my leveling. I have no idea. I assume that was because I was just fucking getting all the leathers. <laughs> it was funny. I logged on and I saw Lions players killing someone. Um, I think it was this morning, just when I kind of got up. I just jumped on to check my mail. And <laughs> fucking like a druid just ran past me. I was like, yeah, turn around, bro. And he didn't. And he died. And he was like, oh, man. <laughs> I should have listened. I'm like, yeah, you're a dumbass. It's okay. You're a filthy wannabe mana user. But maybe when you just stay in cat form, you might be okay. Hmm. There's hope for them yet. We have a fair bit of uh, resource stockpiled here now as well. We're up to 65 gold. 35 gold off progressing. When we come back, we're going to be back in the Yeti cave. And we're going to be like, Rod, charge. Blech. Fucking chair roll, you bitch. We gotta practice the whole rolling thing. It kind of doesn't seem to want to roll all that much. Maybe that's a good thing. I'm not sure. I'm debating that with myself now. Listen, don't worry about it. These are details for another thing. Okay, right. We're gonna. We had to kill a yeti. He attacked me. He fucked with me. I fucking cut his head off. It's fine. Right. There's a fire over here. We gotta shove our rod in it. Should you shove your rod in the fire? That's probably not a good idea. Yeah, hey, look, a rock, buddy. Go fucking chase that shit, you fucking dumbass. Okay. This one. We're gonna cut his fucking nipples off. Hey, nippleless fuck. Prepare to be denippled. Send us to strike. Am I right? You know what's happening there. Your nipples are getting cut off, bruh. Your nipples are getting cut off. Oh, he's trying to make his way over here. He's like, vengeance will be mine. I'm a hunter. I will hunt for vengeance. Yeah, you ain't gonna get shit, brother. You ain't gonna get shit. 
No. He ain't gonna man to shit, because you still gotta get through this one. Ha 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 ha. I'll take that long barrel musket, and I will slice you up. Yeah. My rod is charged. We'll dip down here. Oh wait, what? Where, where is it? Oh, I think it's right here. Or maybe it was just behind me. No, oh, it's right here. Oh, we're gonna get some iron. <laughs> yes. Money. Fucking money. That's what you fucking want. Hmm. Some of you guys have pointed out that I should have bought bags at this stage. And you're probably right. Come on. No, bruh, 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 bruh. Yeah, alright. Okay, right. There we go. As long as it didn't cancel. I was kind of wondering there for a second. Slice and dice! You didn't go off. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh. Little bit tense. Little bit tight from fucking lifting that thing up three flights of stairs. There's no elevators in this uh, apartment. That ain't a bad thing, though, necessarily. I guess in some contexts, like when you're lifting something extremely heavy up, it is. But, um... You know, we just gotta... We gotta work around it. Oof. Stealth. After you eat, and then you eat in stealth. Big brain plays. When we come back, we'll be in Altric Valley. I might try and get some meat thrown back in a minute. I'm watching this fucker. I had a feeling he was about to conduct some fuckery. But he did not. And though he would be killing a Fildamani user, we can't allow that behavior. Mm -mm. Remember, he killed an orc. Mm, super sneaky time. We'll make our way over to the Growless Cave. I'm fairly certain I've seen this fire in there before. I've seen people do this quest while mining, so. In doing so. Oh, look at that fucking mithril. We gotta get that. We gotta get that. Uh. Get up the, the little hill thing, get up the foot. I modded my Minecraft, so I've got the, like, hyper-realistic graphics. <laughs> Fuck, it didn't work! Oh, no! We gotta fight it! Nah, 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 nah. Yes, I clicked evasion. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, 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 I don't know why I've got the Lord of the Rings team on my fucking mind, but we are getting that fucking me thrill. Yes, I popped evasion, and maybe we would have needed it when we were inside the cave. I don't understand why you're still giving out when you already realize I'm a jackass. You should just accept it at this point. Let's get a bit more energy. Kite it out. Okay, rather than immediately getting back in, so that way I can get my foot... No, I parried! Why? Die, you fucking... I don't know what I was going to say, to be honest with you. I kind of was hoping for an insult to flow out of the mouth hole, and it didn't. I just got, you fucking. You fucking what? I'm still struggling here for some inspiration. Sure, look. It is what it is. We got two more mithril. Fucking nice one. Let's move the iron down here. Uh, I guess we should move the stony stuff over here, too. Ooh, oh, is that a node? It's a gold node. This is a nice area for nodes, and fuck me. Bruh. The giant yeti bullshit. How are we gonna deal with this? I just don't know. I just don't know at this point. Hmm. We're gonna mine this, is what we're gonna do. Uh. Like maybe with a pot. An evasion and a bit of kiting, we could get one. We could maybe pull one with throwing knives. I don't know. Well, you realistically speaking, we need somebody who's a higher level to come across here. Pull aggro and then just take advantage of the vulnerability of the fact. I think that's probably our best course of action. Can you stop rattling? Please. What? What is loose? Is it a screw? I think it's a screw. Man, I've been doing so much handiwork in the last day or two. Jesus Christ. 
I've fucking changed door handles and fucking screw shit and I have to get paint fucking because I realized that my landlord has left shit. My mother, uh, when I was growing up, was always pedantic about, you know, painting rooms in the house and shit like that and was a fucking perfectionist about it. And consequently, as a result, I now notice when somebody hasn't really done the skirting board all that well. <laughs> and it is a it is a haunting thing. So there are streaks on my fucking wall and I've got to sort it out. Technically speaking, it's the responsibility of the landlord, but I ain't fucked waiting around for that shit. I'm just going to get it done. I'm not one to really be too crunchy on the whole numbers. Like a pot paint's going to cost me, what, like a tenner? I've got the brushes and shit. I ain't fucking issue. I'll fucking do it. I'll have it done. Rather than having this fucker come along and then having the fucking... I say that. My landlord's pretty fucking cool, so it's not really a big deal. <laughs> but I just don't see the, the need to bother somebody over a trivial amount of fucking money in order to get something fixed up. You know what I mean? But I... It's the handyman week, but it, yeah, there's like something rattling on my fucking PC. Here it is again. It is something to do with the front cover over here. I think it's like a screw or something just after gone. Whatever. You guys ain't here to hear about that shit. You guys are here to see me log out and log back in maybe in about 20 minutes to see if somebody's here to kill this shit on that handy one. Megan, <laughs> half an hour. <laughs> Opportunity has presented itself. Let us take advantage. Log out, log back in two or three times, and eventually somebody has come here, kill things, and I can just take advantage of that in my low level state, and also we will mine whatever the fuck this is. Iron, yes. Money. That's all I see. Gold symbols in front of my eyeballs. So whatever it was out there that was doing whatever the fuck it was, held the aggro there for a couple of seconds just while we clean up here. So we need to head to South Shore now. We need to go. There's like a graveyard, I believe, next to it. And we have to... What are you doing? Tanks. I think that person actually took the aggro. <gasps> yep, I think that person took the aggro. And probably was trying to do the quest. Are you skinning? Fuck. It's just that I would have skinned that. You know? Yeah. Filthy fucking mana user. Right. When we come back, we'll be... Ooh, that just died. And I didn't see what killed it. Nope. <laughs> we might go stealthy here for a second. Because of all that shit. Hmm. Mm hmm. Right. When we come back, we'll be much closer to South Shore. Back in a minute. Okay. Okay. I realize that every time I cut one of these clips and I come back in, I say, okay, but do you have shitty boots or okay boots? I've got okay boots. Oh, uh, no, no, just de stealth straight away. Just get out. Just get out. We're going to have to vanish. We're going to have to pop vanish. Yeah, okay. Meet Tara Mill. Oh, who's that? Hang on. I got it. Oof. Right. Wait a minute. Okay, we're back. Uh, a friend of mine just gave me an enchant for minor move speed. I gave her a few bob for doing that. Oh, where are you fucking going, dude? All right, we're gonna make our way back. Oh, fuck, sorry. He looks squishy, to be honest with you. He looks squishy. I still think I need to get moves. I still think I need to purchase moves. All right, anyway, let's just sneak off here. Right, so last time, this didn't work out. But now we've got minor speed increase, right? My big brain is making a big brain play, right? We're going to fucking go down here, use this hunter as bait, and use everyone's unilateral hatred of huntards in order to navigate... this situation where's the fucking graveyard is i think it's on the other side wait that looks churchy no that looks no that looks town holly wait she give me gold yes <laughs> yes <laughs> rip <laughs> nothing in this world is free as far as i'm concerned oh this fucker's coming up okay um Fuck. How do we do this? 
How are we doing? Look how fast I am. <laughs> um, hmm, I think it is on the other side. I think it's over by... I'm trying to remember where the spirit thing... Fucking yoke flying demon is that you res with the sickness and it's not fun that was something went stealthy over here spamming the number three you want to take the aggro from me there was lots of rhymes okay uh, uh, uh oh, oh 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 we found it bruh this is the graveyard this is the fucking worst graveyard i've ever seen oh all this shit is only spawning in now why Hmm. 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 Do 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 Nailed it. <laughs> awesome, right? We'll go on this fucking quest in. Back in a minute. Herb so, like, there's no... <laughs> chair. <laughs> there's no follow-up quest. That's that's it. We're done. Like, just... We have a bunch of new quests. Like, this shit. That shit. But, like... that That's it. <gasps> you know? Let's get out of here. <laughs> hey, we're gonna go to fucking. We're gonna go to Undercity. We're gonna make our way over to the Galimdor. We're gonna try and work on some rep. Get a level or two and then come back and then continue questing here. I think that is. He is not the flight master. <laughs> this has been Giveaway Error, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck Yetis. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed watching this video about Yetis, please leave a like down below and possibly consider subscribing to the channel because we feature Yetis. If you have any comments, questions, concerns about anything that happened in this video, leave it down below in the comment section. I can make you soon as I can. Thank you. Bye bye!